How's it going, everybody? Nerd Rock here, and welcome to another episode of Saw. Really excited to play today. Uh, and what's on the agenda is to find one of the uh, pirate captains, possibly more. We'll see how long it takes. And uh, I also wanted to do a little bit more experimenting on uh, the ship customization, because I saw some cool stuff that people were doing with the, uh, the fire pits that you see in the front there. But we have a little bit of sailing to do, and I figure we might be able to do that while we're moving. Um, because we are at... Let's see, 17 east, 1 south, and we need to get to about 21 east, so we got to get around this island over here, and then travel onward, and we should be able to find, I think it's Captain Rosenbard that's over there, and yeah, that's going to be great, because we need to start working our way towards the bigger ships. This ship's awesome, and you know, we love it, but we want to get over to the uh, Pardon Pusher, and possibly even the Maiden eventually, so yeah, we got some work to do, and I'm just going to make my way around this mountain here. And we're going to start experimenting with, uh, experimenting with some, some ship customization stuff. It looks like this actually is a uh, cool-looking island here, but I, I want to keep our eyes on the prize here. So let's just get around this island, and we'll uh, make our way to uh, 22 east, 1 south. I'm going to craft these into a fire deck pit. And yes, I believe it uses two each. Yes, it does. So we're not going to get too many of them, but we're going to go ahead and make them all into them, because I want to mess around. Want to experiment? <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know if there's anything else you could do other than the one thing I saw, but we'll do some experimenting, and we'll see. Let's see. So we got to get this thing out here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more to do anything really specific on here. But so, what the person online did? A couple of people I saw doing this. One person in a tweet, and one person on the Reddit. You put one like this, right? Then. Really wish I had more of these, but, you know, whatever. Uh, and then, one like that. Whoops. Oh, that was terrible. Grab that. Put this compass away. I don't need that. <laughs> uh, boom. Let's see if I can get this to work. Whoops. Yeah, so see, with using these things, you can actually make them into stairs if you get enough of them. Uh, <laughs> Let's go ahead and stop the ship for a second so I can do this. It's actually making it really hard. And I also think that might be the island we need to go to. So let's let's finish this up, see how high we can get. Not very, I'm thinking, but it's still cool. We'll just, we'll get started, you know? Whoa, that's interesting. All right. Boom. Get another one out. Now, as you can see, if you can get the idea is, if you have enough of these things, you can really uh, make yourself like a little crow's nest. Like, check this out, right? I mean, we don't have, whoops, we don't have the full thing here, but it's already pretty awesome, if you ask me. Look at this. We've made ourselves a little, uh, viewing spot here, if I can get up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's keep on building here and see how high we can get. And a big thank you to the two people who made this and gave me the, uh, not really the idea, but I guess, uh, who, who allowed me to copy their idea is really what I mean to say. <laughs> Uh, that is really cool, though, and we are definitely going to finish this slowly over time. Every time I play, I'll, you know, hopefully I'll get a little bit more hardstone ore, and we'll be able to finish this eventually. Yeah, look how high up we are already. That's pretty awesome, right? I, I, part of me wants to take these two and, and use them as well, but in the long term, we're going to need them up there to see around. But uh, at some point, we are going to make our way up there. It doesn't seem to interfere with the writing of the ship at all. Um, let's, let's turn our ship a little bit and get towards this, uh, Pirate Rosenbard guy, because time for us to start making some progress, right? Now, I just hope I'm in the right spot, but I, I think I am. Make our way to that mountain over here. But yeah, this is really cool. It really makes me excited with the, uh, with how much can be done in this game with building, because it feels so natural. Like, it doesn't feel... How can I explain this? Like, in some games where you build, placing the items feels so awkward. I don't, I don't know why. It just, it, it's, a, it's a feel thing. And in this, this game, it just has a good feel. It's funny, because I've read a lot of articles about, like, indie game design, and they call it, they have a thing where they call about, like, game feel. It's a very specific thing, and it's hard to put your finger on, but it just, it what makes the game feel good to play. And this game has that coming out the wazoo, if you ask me. Um, it's just fun to play. And it just, it feels right. We have our little captain's quarters. If any of you guys missed the last episode, we got our nice swanky little uh, quarters set up here with our customized paintings. I really like that one. That looks just like an island in the game. 
And it's really cool that the paintings are actually almost screenshots from the game. That's really clever. Uh, what else have I been looking at? I've been talking to Blinky, and he showed me some of the things that some of the real techie people from the community have been working on. And uh, they're coming up with ways to actually add texture packs to the game, believe it or not, which is really cool. Uh, down the line, you might be able to download a pack and actually change the way the game looks. Uh, very similar to what you might see with Minecraft, for example. And that's really cool to me because you'd be surprised how much changing the look of a game can reinvigorate it. And I'm getting a little bit of lag going on the ocean today. Not really sure why. We'll see if we can take these guys down. We're going to have to uh, bulk up on arrows if we're going to fight too many of these guys. Let's see. Who do we have over here? Hopefully they're not battle masters. Ooh, what's this? It's a shipwright. We've never seen one of those before. All right, get out of my face. I got a hefty axe. You don't got a hefty axe. Oh, it's a battle master and a shipwright. That's bad. Cheese it. <laughs> Cheese it. All right. I have a health potion. Kind of forgot that I had all those things. So let's let's take this back out. Preemptively bandage. I want to take out the shipwright before anything. Man, these guys are tough. They're gonna kill me. No. Oh. <laughs> Friggin' jerk. <laughs> I want to go up and see what that guy had, but I'm worried that other guy is going to come and kill me. So while I'm still here, why don't I go ahead and make some arrows, because it's going to be important. I can't make any hardstone arrows, because I just made them all into stairs. <laughs> um, you know, I, I do have to say, in my opinion, um, since the ship customization has been added, it's kind of difficult to get enough resources to do anything. I think the spawn rates or the drop rates of things could use with a little bit of adjusting now. A little bit of adjusting, because I actually, I'll farm in between episodes, and I still, I'm still wanting for more materials constantly, so. I think they could use a little bit of a buff. Um, now that, you know, now that, uh, you, you use them for other things, you know, it's kind of hard to have enough. All right, let's see what this guy had. A torch holder. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, gold, a bandage, and a, a pirate ration. All right, I'm going to go sleep in our boat before nighttime because I have not been able to figure out why my videos are so dark at night, but right now it's probably pitch black. So, sleep. Make it day, please. And in fact, whoa, what just happened? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. What? One more hour just for good measure. All righty. Yeah, if any of you guys know there, any, any good tech guys out there and familiar with video editing, if you know... What's going on with me? I, I switched to the uh, H.264 codec, um, which should have improved everything, because eventually I'm rendering it down to that in the end anyways. Uh, I switched this H.264 codec, and now anytime the screen gets the, lightest, the slightest bit too dark, it becomes just pitch black, and I'm just not sure. Let's go ahead and save here, too. I'm just not sure how to, uh, how to fix that, unfortunately. Let's get this guy out of the way. Oh, I thought I was going to have a good good little fight with this guy here. Oh, you know what? I wanted to test something out. Blinky. Blinky is like my uh, my salt coach, if you guys haven't realized. He was telling me that you can actually just jump on these things. Well, look at that. <laughs> well, isn't that useful? Come on back. You know, it's funny, but like... The quirkiness of the mechanics of this game is kind of part of the charm. Like, I'm sure a lot of people would see that and be like, oh, that's so lame that they do that. But in a weird way, it's kind of, it's part of the charm of the game, I think. I actually, I don't know if I'd have it other way. I like, I like the playfulness and funniness of the way this game works out. Now, these are all battle masters. I'm not really interested in fighting them. What we want to find are navigators, shipwrights, and captains. There's probably one over there. Do I have poison and is it mapped to a button? That's what we need to find out. I have two poisons. Let me make some more of those. Uh, oh wow, I got a lot of black flowers to make poisons out of. You can actually tell how much I've been farming based on the number of these flowers I have and health potions that I have. Um, and I still can't manage to keep enough wood logs. So it's, it's mainly the wooden logs. And I really do think that once you get something like a hefty pirate axe, you know, 
It's an axe. I should be able to chop down trees. That's not like... That's not too crazy. And it takes a long time before you get a weapon like that. Um, so yeah, I really would like to see it added to the game where you could just chop down trees. And, and like I said last episode, you don't need to... It doesn't need to be that like you'd have to knock the whole tree down, obviously. It would just... You hit the tree, you get wood. Ooh, right through the face! In the face! Oh, my timing this fight is terrible. That was just terrible. Alrighty. Let's, uh, let's heal up from that. Let's get ourselves some buffs. That's good. Now we should make our way to that village over there and hopefully find Captain Rosenbard, the very famous pirate Jew. <laughs> Any of you guys that have been watching since the first season, you know that, uh, I, don't, I still don't remember what his real name is, but I always will just call him Rosenbard, because it really just sounds like a Jewish pirate, and I love the idea. And I'm Jewish, in case anybody watching thinks I'm making fun of people. I'm Jewish, it's okay. <laughs> That's one of the unwritten rules of, of life, isn't it? You're allowed to make fun of your own kind. <laughs> uh, so let's see if we could find the captain here. Hold on a second, I want to get ready for this fight here. That's a battle master. I think that's a battle master. Up oh, there he is. Missed. Got him. All right, I need to find the most important part of a fight now, and that is a tree stump. <laughs> Where are they? Come on, tree stumps. Oh, this is Buff Beard. Wait a second. I don't know if this guy even drops part in pusher plans. Oh no, that was not a good noise I just heard. Fighting this captain and a battle master is going to be a bit challenging. Pardon me while I concentrate. Oh, I never mapped the poison to a thing. That was foolish. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose that time, but that'll give me a chance to do it. Let's map that to you four. Get me out of here. Uh, where'd he go? That's right. I scared him off. I know. He's scared. He's scared, man. Put some poison on this arrow. Now we do need to go find him again. The pathfinding in this game is quite funny. I must say. Hmm. Where'd he go? Well, that stinks. Huh. I see a wooden log. I'll grab that. But we really need to find old good old Captain Buffbeard. He's not here. Sorry if you hear a bunch of footsteps. There seems to be people walking around my house. Captain Buffbeard, where is you? Well, I don't know what to do now. Where, where, where'd he go? We run to like the other side of the. Oh, no. I don't want to fight you. You're a jerk. Get out of here. Oh, that's bad. Oof. I'm suddenly getting some lag here. I might have to turn down the quality. You know, this is funny. This is the first time I'm playing this game since my new computer that it seems to be working a little bit harder than usual. I'm just going to run for now. I really wish I knew where Buffbeard went. Uh, that's kind of where we came here. I may have to do the old relog and log back in and make all the uh, things respawn. Ah, you've been poisoned, you jerk. That's right, get poisoned. I just wanted that guy to leave me alone, honestly. I said I wanted you to leave me alone. Ow. Oh, there he is. Jeez, I can't get a break, guys. All right, we're going to do this. Oh, that's not even the captain. That's just a shipwright. Well, I want you. Get back here. <laughs> I have him quite the predicament right now, because I don't think I could take all three of these guys. <laughs> I am really confusing them. It's funny. Wait, what did I just eat? That wasn't what I was... That was meant to do. That was meant to, uh... All right, let's take this guy out. He's bothering me. Good. 
We gotta clean up our mess here. Yeah, he's poisoned, so he died on his own. Ooh! A Battlemaster tunic. That's new. I don't know if I've ever gotten that. Even in last season, I don't think I ever got that. Um, something tells me I have, like, mushrooms mapped to number four, and I don't want that. Yeah, let's, let's get rid of that. Four is supposed to be poison. And I'm unable to use that item now for some reason. That's, hmm. There seems to be cooldowns on some of these buff items, and I kind of wish uh, that it would show you those cooldowns, because... Unless it's already applied? I don't know, I can't tell. And I don't know where that, that shipwright went. Man, I'm a mess right now. I'm gonna... I don't wanna... I don't wanna turn the recording off just in case all of a sudden Buffbeard shows up. Alright, I'll just edit it. We'll keep walking around a little while. And I'll be able to edit out the downtime later. You see, my instinct is to fight all these guys, but we really don't need to. Well, but I guess we're gonna. And once you get the timing down with these guys, you can really destroy them with an arrow. Oh no! Oh no! Ha! Oh no. <laughs> As I was saying... <laughs> oh, them. Well, there's either a ship right there or a captain for sure. But let's get our health back. Take all those back. Now, is that a captain, or what's the story with him? Let's, uh, take another potion. We have a ton of those potions, so it's really not a problem. I do, however, want to wait. Oh, I think that's just the ship, right? So we'll just take him out. And poison. Poison applied. And boom. Oh, that's not even... I don't know why my eyes are playing tricks on me. He's just a regular old battle master. I don't want to fight you. You're boring. You know what? I forgot. I got, I got those running boots last episode, and they're really helping. That's why I'm able to dodge these guys so well, ow, as I was saying. <laughs> but yeah, they're helping quite a bit. Yeah, get out my face, dude. I am suddenly having some performance issues on this island for some reason. Ooh. I want my Ironite. That's a good thing. I tell you what, guys, I'm going to do some exploring and uh, try, to, try to see if I have some other program open on my computer or something, because this is not running as well as it used to, usually does. And uh, I'm also going to look for Captain Buffbeard, because I don't want to just aimlessly wander this whole episode. So be right back. And he's right here. <laughs> or uh, one of them is. I think that's him, though. That's a shipwright. That's okay. We want him, too. Whoa. How do I keep missing? Come on, man. You're not a ship right. You're a ship wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so I, I don't know what's going on. I think it's just something about the lighting on this island is causing my computer to struggle a little bit. But that's okay with me. <laughs> Certainly can't, can't complain about not having a solid 60 frames per second. It's not a big deal. Oh, no. I heard a noise. I heard a hmm. 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 This guy I really don't want to deal with at all. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Just, just, I'll just make him run away forever. Off you go. <laughs> Off he goes into the wild blue yonder. Take a health potion again. Because we have plenty. Right, he, should be, he should be a long ways from, from me now. A bed. Ah, oh, well, that would have been really useful a long time ago. Last episode. <laughs> All right, we got to find Buffbeard. That really is like that really is our goal right now. I thought that that shipwright was Buffbeard, but is that another shipwright? Oh, awesome. I mean, if these things just drop stuff to customize your ship with, then this is going to be the answer to like the, the the resource issue. I'll just farm these guys all day long. Shipwright, more like ship wrong. I got to stop saying it. <laughs> 
Uh, I love cheesy jokes, guys. I'm sorry. Oof. Yeah. My computer does not like this island at all. Woo! -hoo. Man, they hit hard. No joke. Okay. <laughs> I am not ashamed. Everybody I know does these things, so... Man, just when I think I'm getting good with the bow, can't hit a shot. All right. A storage crate. Awesome. We got a lot of stuff already from these shipwrights. A bed, an iron uh, torch holder. It's great. We still need to find Buffbeard, though. That is our mission for the day. I was hoping to actually try to hit up a couple of pirate captains today, but it looks like Buffbeard's going to... Buffbeard's Island here is going to take up all of our time. See, I'm wondering if what's what's causing this this lag is these other islands in the distance, because this island seems to have a other uh, uh, excuse me, this this island seems to have a lot of other islands within proximity, um, and that would it seems like when I get close to the edges, my computer just starts bugging out. Alrighty, sorry if I have to stop to pick up these wood logs, but they are not easy to come by. So I gotta grab every single one I see. You know, you'd think these pirates, rather than chopping down these trees, would just pick up all the logs lying on the ground. Call me crazy. No, no, no. No, mm -hmm, just go away, pirate. I don't know. Anybody got time for you? Unless it's Buffbeard, of course. Nope. He's just gone. I'm going to have to re-log to get him back, because he's just, he's just gone. Hilarious, actually. Yep, see, the minute I get to the edge here. All right, where is Buffbeard? Maybe he's just, like, wandering around. Would that be him? Could be. Throw some poison on my arrow, just in case it is him. Nope, that is just a stinky old boring pirate battle master. Interesting. I really don't know where he could have got. Um, yeah. All right, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to go save in my ship. And, we're, and I'm just going to try to find him again. Because he's gone. I mean, like, we've been all around the island. He just is just gone. He ran away, never to be heard from again. <laughs> All right, so I'll be right back, guys. All righty. Uh, we have relogged. Hopefully, we can find him now. Uh, because, yeah, I'd like to uh, be nice and productive. I see two regular battle masters. There he is. Is that him? Or is that just... No, that's him. All right. Let's see if I can long shot him. Nope. Throw some poison on here, just in case I do hit him. Yeah! Now he's gonna get hurt the whole way here with my poison. Don't run away. This guy on his own, really. Not too bad. Ow, not too bad. You preemptively bandage. And it helps that I put. Ooh, he's hitting me hard right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not good. Alrighty. Man, preparation is key in this game. You know, like, this is why I don't really have a problem with cheesing it. Like, running into the ocean now. Because it's, st it's still pretty hard. It's funny because I was just saying this guy's not giving me too much trouble, but then he started to. Uh oh. I am out of arrows. No, no, no. No, no, no. Dude, I do not want to lose this guy again. Come back, come back, come on, you're poison. Just die already. Alright. Yes! Captain Buffbeard, you suck. Ooh, what is that? Buffbeard's armor, a silver key, old worn ring, and pirate ship material. Oh yes, guys. Let's see what this what this uh chest piece does. Most likely we're gonna use it just cause because it's cool. Uh let's see. Fifteen physical armor, and what do we have now? Twelve. It's, and it's 0.5 weight. What's the difference? 0.5 weight. Oh, yeah. Put that on. Uh, what does this ring do? Unexceptional silver ring. One physical arm. Put it on. Why not? Uh, and the most important part would be... Where are they? Pirate ship hull materials. That is huge, guys. Uh, now, I just need to make a couple more arrows. So, excuse me. 
Now we just need to explore that village a little bit, and I'm really glad. This was a nice and productive episode. And I decided this after my last episode. I mean, I was lucky it didn't happen to be the case this time, but I was very pleased with the way the last episode came out, and I hope you guys were as well. Uh, and it made me decide that pretty much from now on, I am going to uh, make sure that every episode is good, and uh, at least at the be to the best of my ability. And it, it, if that means putting up one episode a week instead of two, which you may have noticed is what I've been doing, uh, that's okay. Uh, th there's some stuff going on in my real life. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Just uh, little things. Nothing crazy. Um, it's just stuff that's been taking up time, and honestly, I'm prioritizing that over YouTube right now. And I think anybody in their right mind would agree with me uh, on that decision. So, uh, for those of you who are still watching, actually, I'll pose this to you. I'm thinking of starting a new series called Walk and Play. You guys have heard of a Let's Play, right? Well, a Walk and Play is going to be my own little creation, and it's going to be a series that is going to be more about more about the commentary than the game. Okay, it's going to be kind of like a vlog, like. That's the series I'm going to talk about my own life and what stuff's uh, on my mind. And those of you who have seen my Let's Plays of um, Eternal Winter and The Long Dark, it's going to be something like how those videos were. And that's where I'm going to talk about like my life and, and stuff that's on my mind or whatever. I think I just said all that already. Uh, but the, the, the real idea of it is going to be that it'll be a different game possibly every week. So it'll probably be a lot of Minecraft mining. Uh, it might be some salt farming. The game will be irrelevant. Uh, it's going to be basically be like a, a vlog. So, let me know what you guys think of that idea. I, I don't know when I'm going to do it, or if I'm going to do it, but I really like the idea because I have a bunch of games like The Long Dark, Eternal, uh, Eternal Winter. Uh, there's a game called Eidolon I've been, I kind of wanted to check out and record, but, you know, all those games are very, you know, they're, what do they call them? Walking simulators, right? Oh, look what I did. <laughs> that was interesting. Um... Yeah, I kind of I kind of like those games because it gives me the opportunity to just kind of ramble on, and it, it's it's good for I think it's good for everybody to just talk, you know. So that's why I like it, uh, and I uh, it'll also give me an opportunity to, to keep updated on a bunch of games that uh, are not really finished, so they're not really they're not ready for a full let's play, but you know you can actually like take an eye on the keep an eye on the game while I play it. Ooh ooh ooh, scimitar, uh, nothing of value and ah. Yeah, I scared him off. That's right. You run, man. Well, anyways, guys, let me know what you think of that idea. I think I really do want to do it because there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. And it doesn't seem to fit in Assault Let's Play or definitely doesn't fit in the Shadow Warrior Let's Play. And if you haven't checked out that series yet, definitely do it. That's a great game and it's really funny. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. And, you know, like I said, it'll be Minecraft and a lot of these walkie survival games. And, yeah, that's basically what my channel will look like. It'll be like one random game, Salt... And then that series, Walk and Talk, or, or Talk and Play. And that's kind of where I'm thinking my, my uh, channel is going to go. Because I, th I already think I'm the type of channel that if you're coming to this channel at this point, you're coming here for me. Um, because if you're just here for the game, there are people who do much more exciting Let's Plays than I do. At least I think so. So I want to have one series that really is just about me. And I don't know if I'm ready to do a vlog where I'm looking, at the, looking into the camera with a face cam and all that. Oh, I always forget to sign out. Dang it. Um... Let me make a day. And one more hour for good measure. Make it a little lighter. Let's get it back on the open seas. Actually, no, I actually am going to hang out here now that I think about it because I want to farm shipwrights in between the, like this and the next episode. But yeah, if you've enjoyed the episode, please go ahead and leave a like. It helps me out so much. Uh, and if you like the idea of my talk and play, please let me know because knowing that other people will, will like the idea will uh, really motivate me to do it. Because I have a bunch of games I want to play that I just, they're not ready for a full let's play. But just, just to talk a bit while we're doing it, that's fine. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Click that like button if, if you want to help me out. And if you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe and you will be able to see all my future videos. And you'll get to see me finish this thing because this is going to go all the way to the top and it's going to be, whoa, awesome. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Peace.